Lao Di Six, what's up with dating apps in China is coming right up. But first off, I'd like to introduce that Conquering Southern China is actually available on Vimeo on demand. So here's a little sneak peek teaser of what you can see in the entire show. If you like the teaser, then please consider going to rent the actual show. Thank you so much, and stay tuned. 很大吗？很大，杨先生。离的景点看得很很很相似。Winston, what the hell is this? I think that's what we're gonna go and see. <laughs> My God. There it is. Holy dick. So we made it to the mountain. What do you think it looks like? Hey Lawaners, it's Lawdy6 here with another video, and today we actually didn't know anything about this restaurant, but it turns wow. out to be awesome. It's like <laughs> probably the best food in my D, which is the district that we're in right now. Now the weird thing is, is actually I've never been here before, it's brand new, we just heard about it, right? And this is a little Lawai86 kind of filming thing that we do, yeah. and this, I'm sorry to like spoil it, it's kind of like you don't want to see what's inside the sausage factory, uh -huh. but we always taste the food first, <laughs> yeah. so we know what it tastes like before we talk about it. Yeah. I must say, it's cooked with black bean sauce and garlic. It's so good. It's so good. It's probably the best tofu I've ever had. It's amazing. So, can you, hold on. Um, stop hitting the thing. <laughs> so, what's up with our baijiu for today? Uh, today we actually have a local uh, Anhui baijiu. I didn't want to spend as much money on it, but because it was the local one, we had to try it. That's awesome. That's Fruity, good. spicy, almost like a cinnamony. Very spicy. It does burn. Oh, spicy. Spicy. You need some spice. <laughs> it does yeah. burn your mouth a lot, but the flavors that are in there, once you get past the spiciness, it's very. It's good. good. I'm surprised. Yeah. Yeah. So, for any of you guys that watched our old video, uh, do Chinese girls like foreign guys? That got a lot of love, little hate, but a lot of attention. There's a lot of views on that video. Girls thing. We're gonna talk about. Um... Thanks. Mm -hmm. So we decided that this What's Up series is going to be about uh, Chinese dating apps, or Asian dating apps rather, um, and kind of hookup apps. In 2009, when I first arrived in China, the dating scene was very different than it is now. For example, there were no smartphones back then, right? So of course there was no dating apps. In China. In China, in China. yeah. In China. Now of course, like back then, you had, um, back then you had like online dating sites, even in China. And in Chinese, but at that time it still had the same stigma as it did back home. Mm. Dating online is kind of weird to me personally. I would never date a girl online. It's really creepy to me. Yeah, I know people. I know it's normal. I know it's you mean, fine. You mean you wouldn't you wouldn't meet a girl online? Correct. And date her. Correct. Okay. Not because I think I'm above it, but because to me it was like very impersonal and almost like breaking the kind of natural human reaction that you have with people. Right. Yeah. Um, the first one that started was actually WeChat, and you guys all know Weixin. Now that WeChat actually has a function that allows you to look around in your vicinity and you can yeah. scroll down and find people in your local area. So you can say female only, male only, and then kind of add them and if they like you. Very, then very like basic back. kind of really strip basic. down. Sure. And people were using that as a dating service kind of, but it eventually kind of spiraled into like prostitution or advertisements. And now it's like old women selling their bodies on there for like 100 RMB. That's great. It's, <laughs> Rosie's a massive fan. Oh, a man. Massive fan. I get me, like, I'm on the prowl, you know, I get me some 45 year old IEs in there. <laughs> After that, they actually made a purpose built, purpose built app called Momo. Mm -hmm. And Momo actually kind of means like stranger, stranger. Like, more strong right? It's kind of a weird name for that, you know. Yeah. Stranger, stranger! But it was the first time that people actually admitted that they were going on an app to actually look for a hookup, right? So that mm. was that was when everything kind of changed and it was funny. Because it got a really negative, like, people started thinking it was really kind of seedy. But mm -hmm. you could always hear it, because Chinese people never turn the audio off on their phones. So when you hear that momo sound, you know that they're on the prowl. And it was really funny. I remember I would hang out with my Chinese friends and they'd hear it and they'd be like, she's on momo. And then they go search their phone for her. A Momo was just a, it's a hookup app, it's a dating app. Really. When you watch like a clearly married dude walk around and his phone just lights up and you're like, you're like wait a minute, <laughs> whoops. <laughs> Maybe he's giving me scowls from the side. I never use Momo. <laughs> Only for experimentation. <laughs> for this video. Only for this video. A new dish game actually, this is uh, Pig's Foot. Yay. Yay. It doesn't look very good. No. I think we messed up. It means a pig's foot. 
It's okay. It's pretty good. Mmm, it's quite good. Not actually terrible. I like it. Uh -huh. It like coats your mouth with like this gelatin. That's it's what. Disgusting. That's why people like it. It tastes like my mom's like foot insert thing she has on her work machine. Why did you eat that? <laughs> it tastes mother. like Dr. Scholl's like pig, pig's can we, foot special. Can we change Disgusting. the topic? Sorry yeah. for the sorry for the insert there. Now during this whole time, QQ was the king of like social media apps. It tastes like a face mask. <laughs> like if you just ate a face mask. Don't fucking eat a face mask. Phone, Stop fucking interrupting me. Throughout this whole fiasco, QQ was yeah. always like the go-to social media. I see your f***ing <laughs> smile and you have another pun. I can do this all day. Tastes like you deflated a workout ball. <laughs> you talk about QQ. Right. This next website slash app is kind of dead now. Tastes like a f***ing big spin, <laughs> doesn't it? <laughs> can we continue? We're just yes, like binge QQ, drinking QQ, and chatting. QQ. <laughs> QQ, sorry, we're back. Um, QQ is kind of dead now. Can, can you redo that whole bit? Yeah. yeah. Tell us about QQ. Okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna make puns about the things. <laughs> I know. Yeah. You're sick. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, it's happening again. He's got the gigs. I got the I'm gigs. gonna slap you. Seriously. No, be patient with me. You know what people love to watch Low Winners? is two <laughs> drunk guys laughing at each other's jokes. <laughs> Go, QQ's dead. QQ's dead. It was the biggest. <laughs> QQ's dead. It was Read the biggest social media app out there. Uh, it's really based. It's a copy of ICQ. Yeah. Fuck out. Of <laughs> ICQ. Um, and people were able to actually search towns and make buddies. And it was more like a pen pal type feeling. Um, <laughs> it was more like a pen pal type feeling. I can f***ing see you in the window. <laughs> it was a pen pal type feeling. Vivi had a couple pen pals on there. Was there like a, a part of the app? <laughs> Dude, I can't do this. Anyway, singles websites kind of took took over after that. I will f***ing hit you. Singles apps took over after that. If I that. could stop this, I would. And what happened actually was it moved on to a much bigger thing, which is Tauntaun. And Tauntaun is Tinder. Not only is it the same code, it's the same layout, they have an English version. That is the hookup app right now. It was designed by it's a Swedish company actually, and I think China bought it. Oh, did they? I think so. My I was gonna call it. counterfeit, but Tinder's block. I've never used it, um, <clears throat> but from what I understand, it's relatively the same. Like you said, there's it's identical. Like yeah. this, like you see the picture, this, this, you see what the job is, and all this kind of nonsense, and then I guess that's kind of it. That is really it. Yeah, and that's kind of what's taken over. And the weird thing is, is you'll see like nice girls on there, like really like nice looking girls, like. They look like they maybe work in a library or something. But yeah. it, it is a hookup app. But the weird thing is, is China actually made it more innocent. Whereas in America, if you use it, you know why people are using that app, right? Yeah, like you see, if you're walking, it's, you know, it's kind of like when you're walking down the street in the West and you see a guy on Tinder, you're like, oh, you know what he's doing. Yeah, and it, the guys here are doing the same thing, but the girls on there sometimes, they just want to compare to their friends and the likes they got and stuff. It's not purely sexual, purely hookup. It's based. not. And I think that's, I don't think it comes down to the way the app is designed. No. It's just the way that Chinese people are. They're not, yeah. like, romantically, they're very yeah, innocent. They're, very, they're not. For example, a, a Chinese guy on a date, on a first date, wouldn't be like, hey, you want to bang? Like, that would not work. He'd get a I drink in his face. in the West either. Like, I mean, if that's your pickup line, I would. I, you know what I'm talking about, though. Like, both parties may know what they're after, and that happens a lot less than back home, right? A booty call, oh, sure. a one-night stand, hey, I found you on Tinder, let's hook up. Both parties are consenting. In China, that does not happen as much, although That's it does. That's right, you married Vivi, actually. Yeah, found her on Tinder. Yeah, found her on a map that didn't exist. <laughs> Foreigners and Asian people are using them here. Yeah. I found you on there. I don't know why I was researching the boys. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get me off boys, there. Get, get, get I had boys. to figure out how to change the settings. I was on all, which is the default setting, by the way. Um, anyway, so, what I was gonna say is, where the f is your car? Because I challenge you to a drag race and you're letting, like, thousands and thousands and thousands of people down. Yeah, this is something we almost forgot to mention. I owe all of you a big apology because on our last video, or one of our last videos, we said that the next challenge was going to be a drag race and the only car I have is the Santana. Unfortunately, um, as a lot of you guys know, I lost my job. Which means I don't have any money, which means I can't fix my car. It's been broken for like months. It's in a disgusting state of affairs. I went down into my, my little parking basement thing and it's disgusting. But the good thing is I am going to come buy some money 
pretty soon, so we have thought of a backup challenge before we can do the actual race. Okay, Vivi is gone. I told her to go take the baby outside, and it's actually quite cool out there, so it's nice for her. Yeah. But she cannot hear this challenge. We actually brewed up this challenge as a, as a way to tide you guys over until the whole drag race. Right, so what we're going to do is we are going to go on Tantan, which is Chinese Tinder. We are going to make profiles for each other. Yeah, okay? I'm going to make your profile and you're going to make mine. So on your phone, you'll have my profile. On my phone, I'll have your profile. Yes. I will play as you, you will play as me, right? So if I get more likes, I win. This is, yeah, this is what I was thinking. We're not going to go by like how many matches you get, although we'll be playing for matches. What I thought of is actually to see who has the most likes. And whoever okay. has the most likes, whoever's the most popular, right? I'll yeah. be playing you, you're playing me. We'll have to go on a date with one of the matches of the person that won. If I win, if I have the most likes, Prozzy is going to be able to go through my matches and choose the girl that I have to go on a date with. If he wins, if he has the most likes, I will choose the girl, one of the girls that he was matched with on this app and go on one of his dates. I'll actually follow him and he'll follow me and film the entire thing if that's the case. This could be disastrous. I want you to win. No. <laughs> Why? I guess I just want to see what Vivi's going to do to your balls after she finds out you went on a date with some random girl off the internet. I think she'll understand that it's in the good nature of the video. For our subscribers, maybe she'll understand. She won't. She won't. She's not going to go. Paper shredder. All of this stuff. That's basically well, I want you to win. I want you to win because I will make it so awkward. <laughs> I will bring the entire camera set up ride in your car with you to pick up the girl and film the entire process. Normally we try and win the challenge, but at this point we're trying to make each other win. I don't want to go on a I'm going to make you because... so pretty. You're going to look beautiful. <laughs> <That's not laughs> You're gonna, I'm going to pick the best pictures and make your profile unbelievably perfect. Thank you! I'm going to make the best pictures of you and make you look beautiful because I don't want to go on a... I haven't even been on a date in like a year, so I'd be miserable on it. I haven't and been on a date I'm in like four. seven years, I can't, bro. I can't afford to take a game. <laughs> I can't afford to take a girl on a date. And two, I'm sure you guys want to see Vivi just absolutely beat you into the floor. Well, Prozzi, this is another challenge. May the luck of the iris smile upon you. I'm <laughs> going to make sure that you win. And the next time these loud winners see us, it's going to be in the studio or wherever we are. We're going to make each other's profiles and start to play Tom Tom. Chinese, Chinese Tinder, right? I like this. Awesome. This is well, a juicy challenge. And be ready to f lose again. Says the guy that doesn't have a working car. You're lucky I'm nice. Says the guy who has no car. <laughs> Anyways, guys, um, keep on the lookout for our What's Up series. We're going to try and add challenges to all of our What's Up series just to add a little bit more to the videos. Ads. A little bit of It makes it more fun for us as well. Yeah, we like the challenges. I, I'm not looking forward to this one. <laughs> <laughs> this is what you get, though, for shaving a Heart in my head. Lovely stuff. Which is growing in, by the way. Anyway, thank you so much, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Comment, link, and subscribe at the bottom. <laughs> this chick doesn't do <laughs>